Uh, next question is, uh, what is the nature of assistance Egypt offered to NATO forces during Operation Unified Protector? Uh, this is uh, the operation in Libya. Uh, Egypt didn't offer direct military support uh, to the alliance, but I think what is clear is that the Libya crisis made it uh, obvious to everyone that if the international community didn't take action, there would be a massive uh, humanitarian crisis. There would be a massacre. Uh, Colonel Gaddafi had lined up troops uh, outside one of the major cities uh, and had announced that his personnel would go uh, exterminate people like rats, as I recall. Uh, and considering his history, this was no empty threat. Uh, so the Arab League, uh, of which, of course, Egypt is a, an important actor, uh, the United Nations, in which Egypt is a very prominent, has a very prominent voice, uh, both called on the international community, and in this case knowing it would be NATO, uh, to play uh, its part in supporting the efforts of the Libyan people to have freedom and escape from this threat, uh, to protect civilians. Uh, that is what NATO did uh, with Egypt's, certainly, I think, political support. Uh, and our relationship with Egypt remains very strong. Uh, we uh, are in fact in discussion with Egypt precisely on strengthening the Mediterranean dialogue. Uh, and Egypt has an active and obviously very important voice.